Welcome to our June market update. The decision by the RBA to lift the official cash rate to 4.1% was prompted by CPI increasing from 6.3% to 6.8% and concern around a 5.75% boost to the minimum wage. The RBA board said that inflation was still too high and it will be some time yet before it is back in the target range. The only positive we can take from this is that inflation has passed its peak, according to the RBA. At the coalface, for sellers it is good times, with rising values, very low days on market, high numbers of buyers that opens and offers being made in excess of vendor expectations in many instances. Several properties are selling in the first week and some are selling before auction. While interest rates are rising, landlords are also getting some benefits from the low vacancy rate we have and it's the lowest in the country. They're also getting rising rents and an increase in the capital value of their property. On to sales data, despite the rise in the cash rate in May, we still have seen SA property prices rise by 0.1% over the last month and the competition remains exceptionally high amongst buyers with the total listing volumes down 21.4% in Adelaide over the last one year period. Certainly a much smaller pie to choose from and evidence that sellers are holding back. We feel that part of the reason for this is the concern sellers have in finding a property to buy or rent once they have sold. Um, with auctions, uh, the clearance rate last weekend was 76.8% and the SA uh, property prices are at a new high historically and since the start of 2012, Adelaide values have increased by 72.8%. Now on to rent data. Our rental markets have been tightening over the last few months with vacancy rates for both houses and apartments and units extremely low right across the country and asking rents are rising rapidly. Rents have surged over the last year or so and will only continue to do so as there is a minimal new supply of properties set to enter the market in the medium term future. The inner city rental market that is popular with international students has been bouncing back since its pandemic slump. Vacancy rate is at 0.6% which is the lowest in the country and rent application numbers are high. We know for investors that it is harder to buy but please try and buy so that we're able to provide more homes for renters. Sadly, mortgagee sales may start appearing, which will provide additional buying opportunities for investors out there. High, higher interest rates are adding to cost, but if you have cash or are freehold, it won't affect you as much, and rising rents are helping with increased costs. On to the outlook now. The availability of properties to buy and rent will remain low and tight. This increase of demand over supply will most likely keep property values and rent yields high for years to come. The RBA still has a long-term inflation target of 2 to 3 percent, so we have a way to go. And with wage and property values increasing, it is likely that there will be more interest rate rises unless the economy starts showing signs of declining rapidly. How we can help at Turner? We are feeling and hearing genuine empathy for buyers and renters. It is an extremely difficult time for them right now. We will do all we can to help and suggest that you register as a buyer or a renter or both on our website at turnerrealestate.com.au. If you do need a loan um, or to refinance, speak to our friends at Rise High Financial. For any sellers or landlords, we will help you achieve the very best outcome in this market while treating buyers and renters with empathy and respect. All the best out there in this market and we look forward to seeing you next month.